Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. Today's video serves as a step-by-step -step guide walking through connecting the DJI Mini 4 Pro to a, either a Windows-based computer or a Mac. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Although many Mini 4 Pro owners may never have an immediate need to connect their Mini 4 Pro to a computer, there are two main reasons why some would, would want to do so. These are to directly transfer videos and or photos to a computer and to access the DJI Assistant 2 software, this of course being the Consumer Drone series. As mentioned, although not an immediate need just yet, as the DJI Mini 4 Pro released back in September, there will be Mini 4 Pro owners who need to connect the Mini 4 Pro to their computer to access features and utilities found within the DJI Assistant 2 software. This software is used to access the Mini 4 Pro's flight data, update the Mini 4 Pro firmware, or roll back firmware versions. Of course, this is only when and if this option is available to do so. Once the Mini 4 Pro is connected to your Windows PC or Mac, you can use the DJI Assistant 2 software to perform these aforementioned functions. Now here's something to note. If you currently have the DJI Assistant 2 software for an Air 2S, that version is not compatible with the Mini 4 Pro. You'll need to download and install the DJI Assistant 2 software from the Mini 4 Pro downloads page. And we'll have links to these in the description. Shortly, we'll be walking through connecting the Mini 4 Pro to a computer. With the same 24mm camera as the Air 3, the Mini 4 Pro is capable of taking excellent photos, whether 12 megapixel or 48 megapixel. Likewise, in the video department, the Mini 4 Pro shoots excellent video up to 4K 100 frames per second. In addition, footage can also be shot in the D-Log M 10-bit color profile and a 10-bit HDR profile or HLG. So the question on many new Mini 4 Pro owners' minds is, how do I access all of this content? A useful method for accessing the content on the Mini 4 Pro's external SD card is through the use of an SD card reader. An SD card reader allows you to remove the SD card from the Mini 4 Pro, insert the card into the reader, plug the reader into a computer, and then view and edit the information directly from within a directory on your computer. For those who do a lot of photo and video editing, this way of accessing the information on the SD card is pretty convenient. With an SD card reader, you won't have to find a spot in your work area to house the Mini 4 Pro and then plug that into a computer via USB cable. We'll talk about directly connecting to a computer. Although there are alternative ways to access photos and videos from the Mini 4 Pro as mentioned, it still might be necessary to directly connect the Mini 4 Pro to a computer. Such as when pictures and videos have been stored directly in the tiny internal 2GB storage found on board the Mini 4 Pro. To connect your Mini 4 Pro to a PC or Mac, you'll need the USB to USB-C cable that is included with the Mini 4 Pro. Now thankfully, DJI has USB-C cables included in all the Mini 4 Pro combos, including the Mini 4 Pro and RCN2 only combo. First, you want to connect the Mini 4 Pro USB to USB-C cable to your PC or Mac. You'll want to plug the USB side into an empty USB slot on your computer. Next, while the Mini 4 Pro is off, plug the USB-C end into the Mini 4 Pro. Now, if you're connecting the Mini 4 Pro to a computer to access pictures and video, in a trend that's copied down from the Air 3, there's no need to power on the Mini 4 Pro. When it connects to a computer via USB-C, the internals are immediately accessible. Your computer, whether Windows or Mac, should recognize the Mini 4 Pro storage. Now, if using a Mac, the Mini 4 Pro's internal drive will create a shortcut on the desktop, which you'll be able to double click and access through Mac Finder. If you have an SD card in the Mini 4 Pro, this will also be created as a shortcut on the desktop. Now, if you're using a Windows PC, 
you will have to access the data on the Mini 4 Pro's SD card or the internal storage and SD card through either Windows or File Explorer, depending on which version of Windows you're running. Now, if you're connecting the Mini 4 Pro to a computer to work with the DJI Assistant 2 software, you'll want to connect the Mini 4 Pro USB to USB-C cable to your PC or Mac, and then plug the USB side into an empty USB slot on your computer. While the Mini 4 Pro is off, plug the USB-C in into the Mini 4 Pro. Now, launch the DJI Assistant 2 software. Next, unfold the Mini 4 Pro's arms and legs. Remove the gimbal cover, then turn on the Mini 4 Pro by pressing the power button once and then holding the power button. The DJI Assistant 2 software will then transition to a screen that shows your Mini 4 Pro. Simply choose it, and then you'll be able to update firmware as well as the other options and utilities that we spoke of initially. Now we'll talk briefly about connecting a DJI RC2 or RCN2 remote controller to your computer. And like with the Mini 4 Pro, it may become necessary to connect the DJI RC2 or RCN2 to your PC or Mac to work with the firmware in the DJI Assistant 2 software. So first, you'll want to connect the Mini 4 Pro's USB to USB-C cable to your PC or Mac by plugging the USB side into an empty USB slot on your computer or your USB hub. While the remote control is off, plug the USB-C in into the RC. Open the DJI Assistant 2 software. Now, turn on the RC by single pressing the power button once, then press and hold the power button again until the RC beeps and turns on. The DJI Assistant 2 software will then see the remote controller and switch over to the connected devices screen. Here, choose the remote controller model that you're using and you'll be brought to the firmware update screen. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to droneblog.com.